Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Satisfactory Playthrough Series. This is episode 23, if you can believe it. We are moving right along. I can't believe how many episodes we have already. It's crazy. Very exciting episode today. We are going to build a two-level transport highway, if you will, for our tractors. Last episode, we set up a single path, a little shortcut underneath that giant arch over there. And we ran into some problems with trying to transport both coal and iron on those tractors because they it's two different tractors, you know, sourcing from two different mines but using the same path and so they can run into each other and that leads to a whole bunch of problems. So at the end of last episode I had the most amazing idea to make a two-level highway system. So we're still going to cut through the center of that arch, but we're going to build two levels so that our tractors are not on the same path. And hopefully that will give us just a much cleaner, more reliable path for both of our tractors and even potential future tractors if we decide to, to make more. So that's what we got going on. We'll say hi to the clone. Hello. Hello, future, no past self. Beautiful day, isn't it? Beautiful day in the land of Satisfactory. We're going to go ahead and jump right into this episode. If you haven't already, make sure to go and check out the playlist, which will be linked in the description as well as in the card somewhere in this video for the playlist that has all the episodes so you don't miss any part of the progress that we've made. And thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the support I've been getting. Smash the like button if you enjoy this video, and let's get into this episode. All right, so if you notice on my list, I actually have a jelly landing pad queued up here. At the end of last episode, I wanted to do kind of a cool outro, and I thought maybe if I launch myself really high, you know, we can get like a bird's eye view of my little factory area. Oh God. But it doesn't actually launch me that high, so it wasn't that dramatic. I think if we put a jelly pad way on the top of that arch and then launched up, maybe we'd have a better view of everything. But that is not at the top of our priority list, so we're just going to skip that for now. And I need to turn my sound down because this is really deafening. Let's run over. Oops. Let's run over to, um, actually first I want to get rid of all this biomass that I'm holding. I did it for the jelly pad and now I don't need it. So let's just convert it. Not enough space. Doggone it, Bobby. We need to move something. These alien parts, some quartz. Let's convert this biofuel. Oh my God, it's so slow. We're not doing that. I'd rather trash it than hold on to it, to be honest. But we'll keep some stacks in here, just as backup if we ever need it, and toss the rest. It's so easy to replenish anyway. Let's go ahead and clear that list as well. Okay. Oh, you know what? We need to make sure we have enough concrete. We have one, two, three. Three stacks, not enough. We're going to make a gigantic arch, so we're going to need more than that. All right. Now we've got a ton of building material. I'm really excited for what this is going to look like. I think I'm going to end up moving, actually, the, the second truck station that we set up over here and kind of putting them, like, not back to back, but in a similar area. I'd like them to be in a similar area. And you know what, maybe I'll take a minute just to like kind of figure out how I want to lay this out. I'll be right back. A few moments later. This guy's just been running around working way too hard. So we're just going to go and park him next to his homie over here. Should be able to make it up this step. Just getting allied. It's a bit too steep. Uh, but we'll go ahead and turn off autopilot. Give him a little break. I think he deserves it. And we need to clear all of this 
in these boxes before we can start to work in that area. All right, well, apparently we need more iron plates and rods before we can do anything about this damn storage box situation. All right, folks, so we just cleared up the boxes that dropped here from all of the material that was inside the truck stations moved them over to the storage boxes there and now we've cleaned up this area I have an idea now what I want to do I am going to build a two level staging area for where the materials are delivered to so we're just going to clear this a bit so this is what I'm thinking the trucks will come in uh, they're going to be on two different levels already so it kind of makes sense just to have two different levels here for them to be delivered to. So we'll go ahead and remove these ramps and simply build a larger area here, a larger floor. And I think we can just keep it at the same level that it's already at. So we'll go ahead and just add to this. And this way, I'm thinking when the trucks come through, or the tractors, they will just go straight from the bridge onto whatever level they're delivering to. And there won't be any overlap at all. And then from those two different levels, we'll have the conveyor belts coming down. I think that would be the easiest thing to do. The question is, how much room do we need? Let's get up here and take a look. This is looking pretty good already. We're just going to want to widen this a bit. How about on this side? I think we want to leave that side open like that. We can fill in this side though for some extra square footage. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, we really just need to be able to fit the truck stop. So we don't need a whole lot of room. And also this can hang off the edge because it is just going to be, you know, the truck. It just There just needs to be enough room for the truck to path on. And behind this, the conveyor belts are gonna feed off the edge. So we don't need this to be too far onto the platform. I mean, this looks like plenty of room. In fact, I think we can even bring it up closer. So let's, let's move it up a couple of tiles like that that looks good so yeah the truck will come through drop off make a nice wide ue before getting back onto the bridge and we can even widen this to give us a little more room to work with um i mean we could do that with the bridge as well and i think that's the middle ramp We'll do one of those. This is just gonna give us more uh, more room for mistakes. Okay, that's quite nice. Whoa, I don't, <laughs> don't even remember killing anything there. But apparently, I didn't pick it up. I am wondering if we should just get rid of these ramps too and just have like a straight shot like building over this entire thing let's see what that looks like I can see that there's things in the ground here yeah so I think we can take this to the air and just continue it at that height I don't I think that's even better so let's go ahead and do that we're going to dismantle all of this goodness and hopefully not die in the process. It would also really suck to dismantle something I'm standing on and fall to my death. I have yet to do that. I have yet to fall to the edge or I guess the fall off the map to my death. Maybe uh, when I have all of my stuff unloaded into a bin. I can uh, I can parachute down and see what it's like. Okay, now we're going to build this out here. Um, you know, because of these rocks, I feel like it could even be a level higher. 
So let's do that. So this will be the takeoff. We're going to place one foundation next to it just so we can get the ramp up. I want it to be kind of gradual. I don't want it to be super steep. So we'll use this middle ramp. And uh, do we want to make it three wide on this side or three wide on this side? I guess three wide on this side makes more sense. Okay. Now we're talking. Now we can get over all of these rocks. I like this. We might cut through those trees, but that shouldn't really be a problem. Pointing the where you want to build in this game can be kind of tricky sometimes. So now we got this really nice sky bridge, and what's going to be really dope is when we build the second level. So now we're running into some trees here. We are going to have to turn this. I don't know how we'll do that. Huh. I don't know how to turn it other than to build just straight edges and basically move the platform over like a grid. Hold on one second. I had a pop-up notification. So from here, we can start to turn this and go that way. And again, I don't really know how to do that other than to expand this section like so. Uh, but then bringing the ramps down is going to be tricky. Maybe we do want to cut this thing down. It's kind of hard to see. Oh no, we can't cut it from up here. No! Okay. Now we can build the ramps. So I feel like they're going to have to come out more. Almost got it. One more level. And there it is. Okay. That's not bad. I mean, I think we can just add to this side here. Yeah. That's not, not bad at all. Whoops, what the hell? Where did that go? Is that it? Is that what I just placed? <laughs> all right, all right. Not bad, eh? This is very nice, very wide. So here you go. Now we've got like the first level. Very nice wide path. We can cut down this tree and uh, widen this section here. So this guy is uh, phasing <laughs> right through my platform. And there you go. Beauty. We are going to redo the electrical lines uh, later on, but now we have our first tractor path set up, and yes, it is a whole lot of metal. We're completely destroying the face of this planet, but it's all in the name of fix it. Don't blame it on me. All right, let's, let's get our tractor. And this is gonna be the iron line. So let's, let's get all the iron back here. Fill it with some iron. Oh yeah, and we have to set it as a receive station. Can't forget that. Uh, it's an unload station. We're gonna give it its iron. Got a few boxes of iron. We'll also grab our tractor. Gotta get the right one. That's this baby. We'll go ahead and bring it up there. See, this would be a situation where I would want walls so that the tractor doesn't get lost. 
Oh wow, now that I'm up here, it doesn't feel as wide. Let's see. Yeah, that's not that's not as much room as I would have liked. Well, it's definitely possible. It's definitely possible, but it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Can't afford. Let's go grab our concrete. And we'll go we'll go program the first tractor. Now that it's up and running. We can expand this, I guess. We can expand it one line over to give ourselves more room. And maybe we'll do that. Just because we we really don't want this tractor to have a hard time. This tractor's a bit of a bozo, you know? What would you do for a Klondike bar? I believe it was like that. Let's go chop down this baby. What? Move too soon. Oh, come on. This mouse is funky. Sometimes it accidentally double clicks when I click once. Sometimes it just doesn't click. Alright, let's go. Okay, we'll dump that ore. Again, change this to an unload station. This might take a while, folks. Okay. Now we're cooking. Alright, so let's test this out again. So we'll unload. Unload. Then we'll take off, make a nice wide turn, and head right back up. Very nice. I like the way it feels. So let's just expand this section since we already made it that wide. Okay. And now we're going to have to move this pole. Um. I guess we'll cross it over. You know, maybe we'll go off that pole there. We'll bring that to this corner for now. You can always move it later. I like to route plenty of power on these platforms. And then from there, We'll route it all the way out. Is it too long? Nope. Beautiful. Alright, let's go program this baby. Okay. We're gonna start recording as soon as it's done loading. Take off down this very wide path now. And hit it right in the middle. Veer a little bit to the right here. Straight down the center. And now we're going to come in towards the left. Slow down and park it right in front. Wait for it to unload. Why is it still unloading? Oh shit. This building does require power by the way. For those folks that didn't know. All right, we've got it unloaded. Now we start the U-turn and we'll just do it nice and tight. Head right back up the middle. Stay closer to the wall there. I'll hang a right. Swing a nice wide turn. Slow it down and park it right there. Now we can turn on autopilot. 
and exit. We did turn on autopilot, didn't we? Oh, finish recording. Okay. This is it. Moment of truth. Come on, don't fail me now, baby. It couldn't possibly get into an accident. This would be the worst autopiloted tractor in the history of man if it ran it. What did I just run into? What? You can run into these arrows? That is so weird. No. There's like a phantom thing where those arrows are. It's bizarre. Let's watch this puppy in action. Come on. Give us a nice clean U-turn. What is going on? What happened? There it goes. Nice tight U-turn. Plenty of space to work with. Now it's ripping it up the ramp. Now we're talking. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's gonna take out the dinosaur. Go bam! Oh, it just missed. Just clipped his toenails there. Dude, this thing's a giant sloth. I was like, I knew that it reminded me of something. It's basically a giant sloth, baby. Um, I do want to move this pole here. So. Just felt like that wasn't in the best place. Let's see if we can get it up here. More out of the way. Okay, that's better. Ugh, the aiming is so hard. There we go. All right. So the first tractor path complete, and how we're doing on time. Okay, we're over time. So we're gonna head back, back to the tower, to our little perch. But I'm very happy with how things turned out. I'm gonna re reroute this too. Just cause I think it'd be cleaner if we put it on our building. Whoa! I didn't realize I was on the edge there. We'll remove that one. Yeah, that looks nice. Beautiful, beautiful. This feels like, you know, as far as like the conveyor versus the the trucks for transporting materials goes, as far as that goes, this feels like it wastes way more surface area, way more square footage, but it's kind of fun. I don't know about materials. I mean, conveyor belts are pretty expensive too, especially when you gotta upgrade them. I wonder how like the tractor compares to different belts. You know, going up to a Mach two versus Mach three belt. I guess we'll find out in due time. But yeah, this was a really productive episode. We redid our iron tractor line. So the first level is complete. It is looking real smooth now. I don't think there's any chance that that little tractor will run into any problems. It looks quite reliable and uh, now we can use that same area but with the two different levels we don't have to worry about crossing paths with the tractors and we'll have the delivery of the coal and iron in the same area which will then feed into our steel mill so it's perfect 
Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to smash that like button because it helps my channel out a lot. I appreciate all of you and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.